Good morning, Joe Tone, Operations Section Chief with PNW2 for your operational updates, Sunday, September 5th. Uh, last night, the crews reported uh, minimal fire behavior um, into the area of Foxtrot Hotel and over into Alpha. There was a spot fire uh, over in Alpha yesterday that's about a quarter of an acre. They got that completely lined and taken care of last night, and that's between the Bumping River and the Primary Road. Um, today's activities, um, Division Alpha is going to continue to uh, monitor the fire behavior that's right near uh, the highway corridor in Division Alpha and look for other opportunities to create fire breaks in the north part of Division Alpha along the Bumping River. Delta and Echo remains in a patrol status with minimal activity. All the structures are prepped in that area. Division Foxtrot and Hotel, yesterday there were some firing operations that occurred um, right here around drop point 33 all the way to H18. That was to secure um, fire movement that was wanting to come uh, northwest and then get into an aspect where it would want to run uh, to the southeast. So they brought fire all the way out to this dozer line for a controlled edge. Um, and today they're continuing to do additional prep to reduce the size of the firebox in here. So they're going to utilize the 1706 road and some hand line that was put into some natural rock features um, to prepare the rest of this for firing to secure all of the homes along the 410 corridor. Division Hotel remained quiet. Again, a patrol status throughout here. And as we come down into the south end of the fire in Branch 2, uh, the crews worked on mop up and securing this edge that was fired over the past week. So uh, we have a good controlled fire edge here and they're working on the hot spots that are adjacent the line. Uh, to make sure that we have uh, good securement through there and begin to increase our containment percentage on the fire in the southeast corner. Over here we have this large kind of donut hole feature um, that has no fire in it. So additional conversation with the local uh, forest about what to do in here. Um, they continue to work the, the fire edge. You can see we've only got about uh, a quarter to half a mile of, of charred fire depth along the line in here. So they continue to work on gaining a little bit of depth, which will give us long-term security along the southern line. Moving to the west end of Branch 2 into Division Oscar and Zulu, um, mop up and secure the fire's edge. All of this firing was complete this, throughout this past week. So they're continuing to do the same thing they're doing in November, is, is mop up along the roadway and make that very secure, uh, reduce any potential for escape in the coming days with any wind on it. Division Zulu on the alternate line, they're just finishing up uh, the final bit of preparations to have that as an con alternate control line if anything wanted to come out of the wilderness. So they're also taking those lines that they've constructed and making sure they're water barred um, and some of the features before we get into a rainy season or snow um, that those areas that we did work on uh, won't cause additional damage uh, through the winter. Got in some specialty fire use modules that are going to be put out into the wilderness today to look at what uh, short-term and long-term fire development looks like in the wilderness and where we can stop that fire. There's a couple opportunities with a lot of rocks um, and water as we move significantly to the west um, where we'll be able to make sure that this fire stays up into the wilderness and doesn't come back down to the south impacting the Highway 12 corridor um, or the ski lodge to the west. And that's it for your operational update for Sunday the 5th.